and a good afternoon from Mansfield Summit High School as we welcome you to the 2013 TAPS Girls 3A Basketball State Championship game as it is the Lubbock Christian Lady Eagles taking on the Austin Brentwood Christian Lady Bears. I am Chase Hernandez with the Legacy Sports and we're delighted to call the action for you this afternoon as we have our third matchup today from Mansfield Summit High School as we get ready for the Lady Eagles against the Lady Bears. As we are getting ready for the opening tip here for the Lady Bears. Tipping it in the air will be number 11, Brooklyn Mercord, and winning the tip for Lubbock Christian as they now have possession with the basketball. As we get underway here from Mansfield Summit High School, the starting lineup for Lubbock Christian, Lauren Huffman, Brooke Corbin, Brooke Robertson, Cassidy Cunningham, and Kristen Fant. As they lose possession of the basketball on their opening possession, as the Lady Bears now have it, their starting lineup, Keely Harden, Arena Marks, Brooklyn Mercord, Morgan Vandegrift, and Nicole Glenn. So down low with it is Vandegrift, as she goes up with the shot, and she's fouled, and she will go to the free throw line to shoot two. As that foul will go against Ashley De La Cruz, who's also starting for Lubbock Christian. That'll be the first foul of the ball game. And the first point of the game belongs to number 14, Morgan Vandegrift. Austin Brentwood Christian, 32 and five, coming into this state championship game. As Vandegrift knocks down both free throws and it's an early two nothing lead for the Lady Bears. And we'll have a whistle and a turnover against the Lady Eagles. As they come up empty on their second possession of the ball game. Lubbock Christian with a 26 and 13 record. Won the state title back in 06, 07. Looking for their second title as they get a st steal right there by Kristen Fant, who has the basketball. And that's gonna be a three pointer for Brooke Robertson. Hits off the back iron, no good. And the rebound comes down to Keeley Harden. With it now, the Lady Bears as they swing it around the court. Vandy Griff will have the ball bounce pass to Brooklyn Mercord. And the Lady Bears almost lost the ball right there. They get it back as Keeley Harden will swing it across to Vandy Griff. Lorena Marks with it. She has it stolen away from her as Cassidy Cunningham comes up with a steal. Kristen Fant pull up three, doesn't fall. And rebound will go to Brentwood Christian. And bring it up will be number four, Keeley Harden. And she passed over to Nicole Glenn. The Lady Bears up two to nothing early in this one. And a steal once again for Cassidy Cunningham as Fant passes it to Lauren Hoffman. And she'll put up this shot, no good. And offensive rebound comes down to Kristen Fant. Fant now to Robertson. She shoot it from the right elbow, no good. Rebound comes down to Brooklyn Mercord. of a jump ball, and it will stay with Austin Brentwood Christian. Head coach for Brentwood Christian is Devin Loftus in his 13th season. Head coach for Lubbock Christian, Alicia Robertson in her second season. Pass will come to Morgan Vandegrift. Now with it is Mercord. Back to Vandegrift, back to Mercord now. She's being guarded closely by Cunningham. Now with it is Harden. She'll give it off to Glenn. This can be a three from Marks. And it is off the mark right there, and a rebound comes down to Lauren Hoffman, the senior forward. So 
Fant with it. Under five minutes now to go here in the opening period. Two to nothing, and that score changes with a three-pointer by Ashley De La Cruz. And it's now three to two in favor of Lubbock Christian, who is considered the visitor in this ball game. As Mercourt has it in the corner. Gets it back up top to Marks. Now Keeley Harden driving, puts it up off the glass, no good. And loose ball will be corralled by Mercourt. Or excuse me, I should say Brooke Robertson. Driving is De La Cruz. She puts up a shot, she's fouled. And she will be going to the free throw line to shoot two. So the senior Ashley De La Cruz just knocked down that three. We'll be going line to shoot two. We're in a Marks charge with the foul. The junior gets her first personal first team foul. Going against Brentwood Christian. And De La Cruz hits the first free throw. She now has four. And checking into the game will be Priscilla Glenn. Who did a very, very nice job of singing the national anthem before this game was played. Second shot up and in and out, no good. And loose ball, and it will go out of bounds. That C last touched, and it will stay with Lubbock Christian. 4.19 to go now, opening period. Still 4 to 2. As it'll be Christian Fant inbounding it right here on the near side of the court. Inbound will come to De La Cruz, and she will hand it off to Fant. Fant will dribble with the left hand. Hands it off to Hoffman. Hoffman back to Fant. Approaching the four minute mark here in the opening period. De La Cruz with it on the right wing. Gets the screen from Robertson. She'll shoot a three. That hits the front rim. And the rebound comes down to Nicole, or excuse me, Priscilla Glenn. And we'll have a whistle and a foul going against Lubbock Christian. Get a second foul against Lubbock Christian. Keely Harden will bring it up as that foul was charged to Lauren Hoffman. That'll be her first foul. Harden will pass to her right to Marks. Marks drilling to her left. She looks to give it off to Glenn. Glenn driving from the corner. Now we'll give it back out to the cold. Now the shot is up no good by Marks. And a whistle on the floor. Foul will go against Brooklyn Mercord. Or Brooke Robertson, I should say, excuse me. And it'll stay with the Lady Bears as that shot is no good and we'll have a tie up. And it will go back to Lubbock Christian. So four to two the score. Lubbock Christian in front with 327 to go. Here in the opening period. As Fant will get the inbound. She'll get across the timeline, deflect it, will stay with the Lady Eagles. As De La Cruz gets the pass. She'll dribble with her right hand, now look to go to the baseline. Shot's gonna be the just swatted away by Nicole Glenn, the sophomore forward. And we'll have another sub coming in for the Lady Bears. It'll be Brooklyn Mercor checking back in. De La Cruz to inbound it on the baseline. The Lady Eagles swinging around back to De La Cruz, a far side of the court. Fant with it, she'll shoot a three from the right wing, hits the back iron, no good. Fight for the ball, it's gonna be saved by the Lady Bears. Good hustle right there by Brooklyn Mercord. With it now is Marks, now up top to Priscilla Glenn. Glenn picks it up on the right elbow. Is it back up top to Nicole Glenn? Keely Hard now with the ball. And with a whistle. And a foul will go against number 11, Brooke Robertson. That'll be her second. Be the third team, or excuse me, the fourth team foul going against Lubbock Christian. As Coach Alicia Robertson gets an explanation from the officials here. 239 remaining. Still 4-2 to the score, Lubbock Christian in front. As the pass now goes to Arena Marks. To Glenn now to Mercord. 
as they swing it up top now to Harden. Marks now with it. Being guarded by Fan. Pass over to Harden. The left wing, she'll dribble with the right hand, look inside, and it's going to be stolen away by De La Cruz. And we'll have a whistle and a foul called against Brentwood Christian. That'll be the second team foul against the Lady Bears. Foul goes against Keeley Harden. Freshman picks up her first personal. Fant will get the inbound. We approach the two-minute mark here in the first period of play. That pass can be knocked away by Priscilla Glenn. We'll stay with Lubbock Christian. First period here, the Taps 3A Girls State Championship game. Fant with the basketball. Dribbles on the far side of the court, gives it up to Robertson, goes right through her hands and be taken away by Glenn. And she picks up the dribble and she will give it off now to Nicole Glenn. Here's a three-pointer by Marks, and that one does not fall off. It's a rebound, put back, no good. And a whistle and off, it's a foul. Will go against Keeley Harden. She picks up foul number two. The Lubbock Christian winning yesterday against Amarillo San Jacinto, 51-47. Austin Brentwood defeating Round Rock, Round Rock Christian, 47-27. To get here is that shot up, and it hits, and that is Ashley De La Cruz for her second three of the ball game. She has all seven points so far for the Lady Eagles that are out front seven to two with a minute 21 to go in the first period. Shot up, no good. Offensive rebound though down low and the putback is good by Brooklyn Mercor. And we're gonna have a technical foul. It looks like on the court. As the officials discuss this, we're going to see who it is against. Seven to four is the score. Lubbock Christian in front, 113 to go here in the first period. As the officials have discussed it. And we have a technical foul against Brooklyn Mercor. After she got the put back, she gets the T. So that foul will go against Mercord. The four team fouls for each team now here in the first period. And De La Cruz will go to the free throw line to shoot the two technical shots. De La Cruz with all seven points so far. Make it all eight points so far. It's now eight to four. Lady Eagles out in front. And she knocks down both. She has nine with 113 as we have some subs coming in. It'll be Rachel Oric and Morgan Vandegrift checking back in as the ball will stay with the Lady Eagles. With 113 to go. Zim now comes to Fant. Fant across half court. Being guarded by Priscilla Glenn, and she saves it from going out of bounds. And a whistle and a travel call against Lauren Hoffman. And he'll go back to Brentwood Christian. 103 remaining here in the first period. And now comes to Vandy Griff. She has two points so far. She'll drive, put the shot, and she's going to be fouled. And she will go to the free throw line to shoot two shots. Be the fifth team foul against Lubbock Christian. That foul will go against Brooke Robertson. That's going to be foul number three against her so far. So the junior forward with three fouls already. And at the free throw line is Morgan Vandegriff, who sank her first two free throw shots of the game. And she's still perfect, three out of three. As well as a sub coming in as Caitlin Stevenson will check in for Robertson. Second shot on its way from Vandy Griff. And it goes in and out, no good. And loose ball will be fought over and a tie up and it will stay with Austin Brentwood Christian. 52.9 seconds remaining. As both fan bases making some noise here from Mansfield Summit High School. 
inbound comes to Priscilla Glenn. Up top now to Nicole Glenn. She'll drive, she'll put up the shot, and the offense a foul as the charge is drawn by Caitlin Stevenson. That'll be the first foul against Nicole Glenn. And 15 foul as Megan Burcham will check in now for Nicole Glenn. Lauren Hoffman will check in, or excuse me, will inbound it to Kristen Fant. As now Brentwood Christian puts on a bit of a press. As Fant now gets it. And now down low driving and putting it up is Cassidy Cunningham. The first person besides Ashley De La Cruz to score here in this opening period. It's now 11-5, Lubbock Christian in front. Marks with it, passes it over to Priscilla Glenn. Down to 15, down to 14, as Oric now has it. Clock down now to 10, as Marks dribbles. Pass now to Glenn, she has six on the clock, down to five, down to four, has it knocked away, De La Cruz with it, down to two, down to one, and she is fouled, as the shot will not be counted. As the foul looks like it's gonna go against Morgan Vandegrift, that'll be her first personal 16 foul. So .2 seconds remaining, not enough time to get a shot off right here. And that half court shot almost goes in regardless for De La Cruz, but it wouldn't have counted as that's the end of the first with Lubbock Christian in front of Austin Brentwood, 11 to five. Fans want to remind you that you can purchase a copy of the DVD of this girls 3A state championship game by going to our on-demand page that got you here to watch our live feed of this ball game. $20 for a copy of the DVD. As we're glad you're joining us here on our LSN on-demand broadcast of the TAP 3A state championship game as Lubbock Christian making their way through the Tap State Tournament as they knocked off Fort Worth Lake Country Christian 50 to 45 in the area round then defeated McKinney Christian in the regional final after defeating Amarillo San Jacinto yesterday in the state semifinal. And for Austin Brentwood, they defeated Brian Brazos Christian, 63-28. Temple Central Texas, 56-31. And Houston Cypress. And yesterday, Round Rock, Round Rock Christian, 47-27. Start of the second period. It'll be Lady Eagles ball. As De La Cruz will have the basketball. She'll fake the three, get it off the fake. And down low, shot is up, no good. As Stevenson missed that shot, that three is gonna be off the mark and a loose ball will be picked up by the Lady Bears. We'll bring it up, will be number 10, Arena Marks. And that pass is go into the backcourt and a violation going against Brentwood Christian. So another turnover against the Lady Bears. As we've played 33 seconds here in the second period. As De La Cruz gets the inbound. Dribbling in the corner now looks to go to the baseline. Shot will go up and she gets it to fall. So De La Cruz makes it 13 to five, has 11 points in the game. That shot will go up, no good, but Harden is fouled and she will go to the free throw line to shoot two. Foul will go against Cassidy Cunningham, her first personal foul. 16 foul against Lubbock Christian. And Harden sinks her first free throw. The freshman guard cuts it to seven, 13 to six, 7.09 to go here in the second period. Second shot on its way, hits the front of the rim, rebound comes down to Cunningham. And bringing up will be Kristen Fant. Dribble to her left. Looking down low, 
And it's going to be saved by De La Cruz. She'll shoot a three from the corner. She drains it. Ashley De La Cruz, red hot from the field so far in this game. And it's now a 10 point lead for the Lady Eagles. Mercord with it. Pass it to her left to Vandegrift. She'll pass it over now to Harden. Harden dribble with the right hand. And out of bounds. And a turnover against the Lady Bears. And a timeout called by Austin Brentwood Christian coach Devin Loftus. With 6.29 to go here in the second period, making it 16 to six. Love it, Christian. And it's been the Ashley De La Cruz show so far as she has 14 of the 16 points for the Love It Christian Lady Eagles who come in with a record of 26 and 13 on the year. Austin Brentwood Christian, 32 and five. A very good matchup we have for you here in the 3A girls state final. The Lady Eagles ball coming out of timeout. They'll inbound it in front of their own bench as Lauren Hoffman will get it in. As De La Cruz will bring it up. De La Cruz gets it across half court. She's looking for the screen from Cunningham. Doesn't take it. Now pass it over to Fan. Fan will hand it back off to De La Cruz. Switching hands with the dribble. She'll shoot a three now from the right wing. She gets it to fall. Ashley De La Cruz, the senior guard, on fire from the field. As Brentwood Christian looks to get an answer on her. With it now is Nicole Glenn. She gives it over to Marks. Marks to Vandy Griff. And Vandy Griff has it knocked away, saved by Oric. Now cross-court pass to Glenn. Glenn drives off the glass. She gets it to ball. Glenn's first point of the ball game. Makes it 19 to eight. Lubbock Christian in front. As Hoffman now has it. Hoffman looking down low for De La Cruz. That's gonna go out of bounds. Last touch though by the Lady Bears. As Priscilla Glenn will check right back in the ball game for Rachel Oric. Bound will come on the baseline from Kristen Fant. Gets into De La Cruz, she'll shoot a three, why not? And she gets it to fall once again. Ashley De La Cruz, now 20 points in the first half. 22 to eight to score, Love it, Christian out in front. With it is Marks. They'll swing it all the way now to Vandy Griff on the left wing. Nicole Glenn with it. Back to Vandy Griff. Looking down low, has nothing. Now she'll look to drive with it inside the paint. She puts up the shot, no good. We have a whistle on the court and a charge drawn by Lauren Hoffman, it looked like. And a foul against Vandy Griff, that'll be her second. Maybe the seventh team foul. As Lauren Hoffman gets ready to inbound it. 4.49 now on the clock. 22 to eight to score. Lubbock Christian out in front here in this first half. As De La Cruz, who has 20 points, gives it up. Now with it is Caitlin Stevenson. She gets double team. Fant now with it. Back to De La Cruz, and it's going to be knocked away. And it's going to be stolen by Nicole Glenn. And it's going to be taken right back by the Eagles. Fant with the ball. And this is looked like it was going to be a three early. Down low, off the glass. That's no good by Stevenson. And a scram for it, and we have a whistle, a tie-up, and it's going to go to the Lady Bears. A good hustle by both teams right there fighting for the basketball. As Brentwood Christian will get possession back with 4.21 to go. In the first half, they trail 22-8. Defense! 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 Andy Griff will have the basketball. She'll give it back to Harden. Back to Vandy Griff. Playing pitch and catch to Harden, now finds Nicole Glenn. Back to Glenn, the right elbow, kicks it out to Mercourt. She'll shoot it, she'll drain it. 
And that will be a three for Brooklyn Mercourt. She has five points. And it's an 11-point lead as De La Cruz has it. Gives it out to Fant. Fant will dribble to her right. Now back to her left. She finds Cunningham looking down low and putting it off the glass for two is Caitlin Stevenson. Now 24 to 11 as Stevenson and Cunningham have the four other points in this ball game besides De La Cruz for Lubbock Christian. Driving the baseline is Glenn. She doesn't get it to fall and a tie up inside the paint and it'll go right back to Lubbock Christian. And a sub will come in, Arena Marks. And checking out is Nicole Glenn with 323 remaining in this first half. Good crowds from both Austin and Lubbock supporting their schools. As that pass is deflected and it will go out of bounds. Last touch by Lubbock Christian. And it'll go back to Brentwood Christian. Hard one, bring it up. As we approach three minutes or left in the first half of play. Marks with it on the right wing. She'll shoot a three. And she gets that one to fall. Arena marks her first point of the ball game. Now back to a 10-point game at 24-14. De La Cruz being double teamed. As the fans wanted a travel call, didn't get it. As De La Cruz now gets it back. She's going to shoot a long three. Doesn't get that one to fall. Got a little greedy on that one. And it's going to go out of bounds back to Austin Brentwood Christian. So De La Cruz is pretty much hit from everywhere on the court. Tried a long NBA range type three. He couldn't hit the iron. So a chance now to cut it to single digits for the Lady Bears on this possession. And that's going to be a three by Mercourt. It's going to be partially blocked by Stevenson. De La Cruz with the basketball in transition. Gets it up. And the basket will count. That's Cunningham. And she gets it to fall. And she will go to the free throw line for a three-point opportunity as Cunningham now has four points. That'll be the 18th foul against Brentwood Christian as that foul goes against Brooklyn Mercourt, her second. Free throw shot no good by the lefty Cunningham and a jump ball. And it's going to go back to Brentwood Christian. 2.23 to go. The clock will wind now with Keeley Harden bringing up the basketball. As Brentwood Christian trails by 12. Vandy Griff with it. Pass it to her right to Mercor. Mercor will dribble with her left hand. That's going to be a three in the air, and that's going to be no good by Harden. And a whistle and a foul, and De La Cruz will be going to the free throw line for a one and one. The 19 foul, and the foul will go against Arena Marks, her 10, or excuse me, her second, I should say. As Nicole Glenn will check back in, as De La Cruz will go to the free throw line. Front end of the one and one, and hits off the back iron. And loose ball will be picked up by Cunningham, and she's going to be called for the travel. And two minutes now remain in this first half. And once again now, Brentwood Christian can cut it back to 10 or cut it to single digits with the three. Harden brings up pass to her right to Marks. Vandy Griff now with it. She'll pass to her left to Glenn. Glenn will drive. Her shot is up, and... Iron unkind on that roll. And they'll go back to the Lady Eagles. Fant will push it. Approaching the 130 mark. She looks for De La Cruz. Being guarded by Vandy Griff. De La Cruz still with the dribble. Going down the baseline now. And a whistle and a charge called against De La Cruz. That's going to be her second personal. Looks like it's the seventh team foul against Lubbock Christian. So now 122 remains in the first half. With the Lady Eagles out in front by 12. Glenn with it looking down low. 
for Marks. Turnaround shot, no good. Rebound comes down to Cassidy Cunningham. Fant will bring it up, hands out to Dela Cruz. As we have one minute to play, a three up in the air. That's going to hit the front rim and go out of bounds. As Marks lets it go. So back to Austin Brentwood Christian with 57.7 seconds remain. Inbound will come from Priscilla Glenn. As Harden brings it up. Down to 50 seconds now. Pass to her left to Vandy Griff, looking down low. And good pass by Marks, saving it. And the shot no good by Glenn, and a putback by Vandy Griff is no good, but she is fouled, and she will go to the free throw line for two shots. As that foul goes against number three, Lauren Hoff, and her second personal foul, 18th foul. So Morgan Vandy Griff, a senior, with three points, will go back to the free throw line. First shot on its way. She gets it to fall. She now has four. As Masha Hines will check in. So the free throw here to cut it back to 10 for Vandy Griff. And she nails that one. She now has five. 10 point lead with 40 seconds remaining as Lubbock Christian has the advantage as Fant gets it across half court looking down low wide open as Hoffman she'll put it off the glass for two. Lauren Hoffman on the scoreboard now her first points back to a 12 point lead 28-16 with 23 seconds remaining. Marks with it. Gives it off the Glenn she drives inside the painter shot is no good but she is fouled and she will be shooting two. Foul will go against Cassidy Cunningham, her second personal, the ninth team foul. Each team now at nine, 17.4 seconds remaining. First shot by Glenn is in and out, no good. Sophomore with two points. The score remains 28-16 with 17.4 seconds remaining. Second shot on the way off the back iron, no good, so she misses both. Now the Lady Eagles with the chance to take the last shot of the half if they could get it off. Fant with it. Finds De La Cruz down to eight, down to seven, six. De La Cruz puts up the shot, she's fouled, and will go to the free throw line to shoot two. As a foul will go against Arena Marks, that's gonna be foul number three. So De La Cruz back to the free throw line. She missed the front end of the one and one earlier. Uh, she has 20 points on the ball game. And this is the first. It's still 28 to 16 with exactly four seconds remaining. Second shot, she gets that one to fall. And a sub coming in. As it'll be Harden checking back in. Coming out is Hines. So four seconds remain for the Lady Bears. They get it in. That's going to be Vandy Griff with it. With one second, she puts up the running shot. She misses. And that's the end of the first half of play with the score. The Lubbock Christian Lady Eagles 29 and the Austin Brentwood Christian Lady Bears 16 here from Mansfield Summit High School. This is the 3A Taps Girls State Championship game. Welcome you back to Mansfield Summit High School for the TAPS 3A Girls Basketball State Championship game. I am Chase Hernandez here. Go on the action for you this afternoon here on our Legacy Sports Network On Demand feature as we're bringing you live game feed here from Mansfield Summit as it's 29 to 16, the Lubbock Christian in front of Austin Brentwood Christian as we get ready to start the second half of play as it'll be Lubbock Christian's basketball as they have a 13 point lead at half as it'll be Ashley De La Cruz who had 20 points in that first half. 
And she'll have the basketball. And she will dish it off to Kristen Fant. Fant with it at the top of the key. Dribbling to her right. Now to the left. We'll fake the three. Now give it up to Cunningham. Down low shot. No good by Stevenson. And they look to save it, but it's going to go back to the Lady Bears of Brentwood Christian out of Austin, Texas. With it is Marks. She has it on the right wing. She'll pass it out now to Keeley Harden to set up shop on the offensive side for their first possession of this second half. Pass now will come to Nicole Glenn. Glenn looking down low has Brooklyn Merkord was slashing to the hole. The pass goes over her head, out of bounds. He'll go back to the Lady Eagles. De La Cruz will look to break this press now being put on by the Lady Bears. She dribbles through the traffic, gives it off to Fant as we played a minute now. Long three by De La Cruz, and she misses everything right there. And he'll go back to Brentwood Christian. Other scores in the ballgame for the Lady Eagles of Lubbock Christian. Cassidy Cunningham had four, and Lauren Hoffman and Caitlin Stevenson each had two. As Morgan Vandegriff has the basketball, she had five points after one half of play. She gives it off to Nicole Glenn, who had two. Cross-court pass to Berkland Mercord, who also had five. As Arena Marks had the basketball for a second. Now looking down low, it's going to be knocked away. He'll stay with the Lady Bears, and we'll have a whistle and a foul called against number 24, Cassie Cunningham. That's going to be her third personal foul. That is the first team foul of the first half. Other scores for the Lady Bears. Raina Marks had three. Keeley Harden had one. As it's Marks with the basketball. She drives, puts up the shot too hard off the glass. Off it's a board by Nicole Glenn. And she's fouled and she will shoot two. will go against Fant, or actually, excuse me, that's going to go against Cunningham once again. So at the free throw line is Nicole Glenn, who had two. First free throw shot off the back iron, no good. And we'll have subs coming in, Priscilla Glenn for the Lady Bears. And it'll be Brooke Robertson checking in for the Lady Eagles. 6.16 to go, third period. Love it, Christian out in front, 29 to 16. And Nicole Glenn will see the second free throw. She now has three. The 12 point lead now as Dela Cruz will bring it up. Dribbling through the defenders of the Lady Bears. That's going to be a three by Fant. That'll be off the mark. And offensive rebound by Caitlin Stevenson. She kicks it out top to Dela Cruz. She'll pull up inside the paint. No good. She gets her own rebound. Now she'll shoot a three. It's up. And that hits the back iron. No good. And a rebound comes down to Keeley Harden. A loose ball picked up by the Lady Eagles. That was Stevenson. We'll get credit with the steal. As Fant now has the dribble. Pass it over to Robinson, back to Fant. Hands it off to De La Cruz. De La Cruz right now being guarded by Mercord. She gives it off to Stevenson and a whistle. And it's going to be a foul. Stay with the Lady Eagles. As that foul will go against Morgan Vandegrift. That'll be her third. That'll be the second team foul against the Lady Bears. And checking in will be number two, Rachel Ulrich. 5.24 now to go here in this third period. 12-point lead for Lovett Christian. De La Cruz with the dribble, she'll drop, put up the shot, and gets it to fall, her first points. Of well, the second half, she now has 22, it's 31-17. Harden gives it out to Oric, back to Harden. To Glenn. Glenn outside to Oric, now to Harden. Feeds it to Mercor, now back to Glenn. Under five to play now, and that's going to be ripped away by De La Cruz. One-on-one -on -one now. De La Cruz goes up with the layup. No good. And a rebound to Brooklyn Mercourt. Here comes Glenn now from the corner. Pull-up shot. And that one doesn't go, and that's going to be rebounded by Lauren Hoffman. Here comes Kristen Fant with it. 
Van looking down low. Hoffman was wide open for a second. She gives it over to Robertson. Loose ball on the court. And it's going to be taken by the Lady Bears. With it is Harden. She'll put it off the glass, and she misses the point-blank range layup. And a rebound comes down to Lubbock Christian. And that pass can be knocked away by Nicole Glenn, and she's going to be charged with that foul. It'll be her second on the sophomore forward. Be the third team foul already against Brentwood Christian. Brandon Griff will check in along with Marks. As Hoffman gets ready to inbound it right here on the near side of the court. Still looking to get it in, finally does, and we'll have a whistle and a timeout called by Alicia Robertson, the head coach for Lubbock Christian in her second year. Looking for a state championship victory here this afternoon for Mansfield Summit as the boys of Lubbock Christian We'll play right after this. So it'll be a double dose for the fans here of Lubbock Christian as they get ready to take on the Woodlands Christian in our final game here from Mansfield Summit as this high school has hosted the boys and girls 1A games already, now hosting the 3A TAP State Championship games. The fans, once again, remind you that you can purchase a copy of the DVD of this game on our on demand page for $20. We live all the memories from a state championship victory of your school here on our LSN on demand page. As we come out of timeout, it'll be De La Cruz with the basketball. So dribbled now to the right, pull up, fakes the three, now give it over to Fant, she'll shoot the three, hits the front rim, no good. Robertson with the offensive board, put back is good. Brooke Robertson gets her first points of the ball game. And it's now 33-17. Under 3.45 to play now. Vandy Griff with it. She stands at the half court circle. Pass to her right to Marks. Marks will pull it up and give it over now to Ulrich. Work to Marks. Almost losing the handle of it. She'll get over to Vandy Griff. She'll hand it off now to Oric. Oric outside to Glenn. Oric in the corner looking down low to Marks. Marks turnaround shot up in and out, no good. And De La Cruz will come down with the rebound. Three on one now for the Lady Eagles. She dishes off to Hoffman. She's fouled. And she will go to the free throw line to shoot two as Marks. Will be charged with that foul. That'll be her fourth. And it'll be the fourth team foul against Brentwood Christian. So the senior Lauren Hoffman will go to the free throw line. She has two points in the ball game. And the first one hits the back iron. No good. As Nicole Glenn will check in now for Marks, who exits with four fouls. Hoffman looking to make one out of two here. The second shot hits the back iron, no good. And rebound comes down to Vandy Griff. Pass it now in the corner. And now Vandy Griff gets the basketball back at the top of the key. We're gonna go inside, she'll kick it out to Oric. Oric drives, looking down low to Glenn. Glenn puts up the shot, she gets that one to hit. She now has five and a quick timeout called by Devin Loftus, the head coach for Austin Brentwood Christian in his 13th season. With 2.43 to go here in the third period, 33-19 the score now. Lovett Christian is out in front. Take a look at the bench now of Lovett Christian as they huddle up. They won the state championship back in the 06-07 season. As they look to come away with yet another one this afternoon. Here from Mansfield Summit, right out outside of Arlington, Texas. Thirty-three to nineteen is the score. Two forty-three remains in period number three. As both fans have traveled well to this one, cheering on their respective teams. A 
as we come out of timeout. It'll be Lady Eagles basketball. As Lauren Hoffman will inbound it. The teams get the final instructions from the officials. Ready to go back to play. And she'll hand it off to Fant. Fant with it. Being double teamed right now, looking for Hoffman. Hoffman has her pass deflected and stolen away. With it is Nicole Glenn looking to go coast to coast. She's fouled as she goes up with the shot. And she will be shooting two. The third team foul, it's Lubbock Christian. As Kristen Fant gets charged for that foul, her first. And Glenn at the free throw line sinks the first. And she now has six. And it's 33 to 20. Sophomore. Looks to inch back the Lady Bears closer and closer. She misses the second, and De La Cruz comes down with the rebound. De La Cruz being double teamed, gets it out of it. Fant now with it at the top of the key, dribbles to her left. Looking for a screen from Stevenson. Still being double teamed, looks to get rid of it, and it's gonna be a turnover as Bandy Griff now has it. Looking to go coast to coast, she will put it up and it falls as Morgan Vandegriff gets that floater to go in. She now has seven, and then it's 11 point lead now for the Lady Eagles. And a whistle and a timeout called by Alicia Robertson. So now the fans from Austin starting to get a little loud here inside the gym at Mansfield Summit with 153 to go in the third period. 33-22 now is the score. Score at half was 29 to 16. 13 point advantage. And it's just been going back and forth around that mark. And now Brentwood down to 11 as we get ready to come back out of timeout. Each team with three fouls against them. Leading score in the ball game. Still Ashley Dela Cruz with 22 points. As now the fans behind us from Lubbock will stand. Great energy inside this gym as Fent has the ball. Pass over to Dela Cruz on the left wing. She has it at the top now. She'll shoot a three. It's up. And it falls. Ashley Dela Cruz now with 25. And it's 36 to 22 as that silences the crowd. From Austin, just a little bit. Three from the corner. That's going to be off the mark and a rebound. Comes down to Stevenson. Here comes De La Cruz. She had the hot hand in the first half. Looking at heat up once again. There's another three. It falls. 28 for De La Cruz. And it's now 39-22. Back in transition goes Harden. Her shot falls. She now has three points for Brentwood Christian. It's now 39-24. Approaching the one minute mark. De La Cruz with it. Gives it over to Stevenson. She'll kick it out to Fant. She'll shoot a three. And that one will not roll in. And a rebound comes down to Harden. And De La Cruz will knock that out of bounds at 46.4 seconds remaining. 39-24 the score. Inbound will come into Harden. Under 40 seconds now. As she gives it to Megan Burcham, who's just checked in now to Oric. Hardcore back to Oric. Oric drives the baseline, giving it up, looking for Burcham out of bounds. And he'll stay with the Lady Bears. They'll we'll have subs coming in. Lene Hollingsworth checking in as one of the subs for Brentwood Christian, as they will keep it with 29.7 seconds remaining. Harden inbound it, gets it in to Hollingsworth. And with a whistle and a travel call. And a turnover caused by good defense right there by the Lady Eagles. 26.7 seconds remaining as De La Cruz looks to break the double team on the full court press of a foul called against Brentwood Christian. 
And that will go against Nicole Glenn, her third personal foul. It'll be foul number five. Check it, make that foul number four. Now 20 seconds remaining. As Fan has the ball, Lovett Christian can take the final shot if they choose. De La Cruz has it, she'll shoot the three, it's up and it does not fall, but she is fouled and she will go to the free throw line for three shots. That one will be the 15 foul against Brentwood Christian. And that one will go against number 14, Morgan Vandegrift. That'll be foul number four for her. So first free throw is made by De La Cruz. She now has 29 points. Make it 30. 30 of the 41 points for Ashley De La Cruz who has been hot all game long from a, around the perimeter. And she is perfect that time at the free throw line. She now has 31, 10 seconds remaining, 42 to 24 to score. Vandy Griff with it, down to six, down to five. Glenn with it, she drives, she puts up the shot. It's no good, but she is fouled with 2.7 seconds remaining. And she will be shooting two. The fourth team foul against Lubbock Christian. Now we'll go against Caitlin Stevenson. First shot by Glenn is good. She now has seven. And Priscilla Glenn will check back in. So it's 42 to 25, 2.7 seconds remaining. And Glenn makes both. She has eight. As De La Cruz gets the inbound, let's see if she can hit one from here. And that's going to come up empty, no good. And that's the end of the third period of play with the score. Lubbock Christian, 42, and Brentwood Christian, 26. As we have one more period of play here in the girls' 3A Tap State Championship game. And it's been the Ashley De La Cruz show as she has 31 of the 42 points for Lovett Christian. Other scores, Cassidy Cunningham has four, and then Lauren Hoffman, Brooke Robertson, and Caitlin Stevenson each have two. For Brentwood Christian, Nicole Glenn has eight, Morgan Vandegriff has seven, Brooklyn Mercourt has five, Arena Marks with three, and Keely Harden has three as well. Brentwood Christian, 32 and five, coming in into this game. Lubbock Christian with a record of 26 and 13. As coach Alicia Robertson looks for her first state championship as the head coach here for the Lady Eagles. As we get ready for the fourth and final period as the fans are on their feet on both sides of the gym. From Mansfield Summit, glad you are joining us here on our live stream. On our Ellison On Demand page. It will be Brentwood Christian ball. As the inbound comes to Harden. Harden looks for Nicole Glenn. Gives it off to Priscilla Glenn. Now Mercourt gets it to Harden who drives the paint, puts up the shot, no good. And fight for the loose ball. Well, it will be a tie up and it will go to Lubbock Christian. Christian with four team fouls coming into the fourth. And Brentwood Christian with five as De La Cruz gets the inbound full court press being put on by the Lady Bears. De La Cruz with the ball. As the fans wanted a carrying call now. She will get called for the violation and the turnover going back to the Lady Bears. And now will come to Keeley Harden. Down low for something, gives it over to Glenn. Glenn has it knocked away, it'll stay with Brentwood Christian as De La Cruz knocked it out of her hands. It'll be hard to inbound it on the baseline. 
Now we'll come up top, and that's going to be knocked away by De La Cruz. It'll stay with Brent Lequish, and now taken away by De La Cruz as she keeps her dribble, as she goes to the floor, and she will be fouled there. And good sportsmanship shown by the ladies from Brentwood Christian right there, helping Ashley De La Cruz off the floor. That will go against Nicole Glenn. That will be her fourth 16 foul. As Tatum Lowe is now in the game. Seeing her first action, there's another three by De La Cruz, and she airballs that one low down low, and a jump ball called, and this time we'll go back to Brentwood Christian. A lot of tie-ups in this game we have seen as Vandy Griff and Marks will check back in. Harden will bring it up, seven minutes now to go. 42-26 lead. And there's gonna be a three in the air and it falls. That is Arena Marks, her second three of the ball game. She has six. And it's now 42-29 as Brentwood Christian looks to inch closer and closer back into this game. And De La Cruz almost gets called for the offensive foul. That timeout called by Coach Robertson as they save it on the far side of the court. The timeout with 6.42 remaining in the fourth period. 42 to 29 is the score. Love it, Christian out in front fans. Again, we want to remind you that you can purchase a copy of this game on DVD for 20 bucks. You follow the instructions on our on-demand page. You can get a copy of this state championship game. It has been a good one here from Mansfield Summit. With 6.42 remaining in the ball game. As it's 42 to 29, Lubbock Christian is out in front as Ashley De La Cruz has led the way with 31 of the 42 points for the Lady Eagles. The leading score still for Brentwood Christian is Nicole Glenn with eight. As they, have, as they have gotten contributions throughout their lineup in this one. As we come out of timeout, will be Eagles ball as Tatum Lowe will inbound it, the sophomore guard. She gets it into the sophomore, Kristen Fant. Fant to Cunningham, to Lowe. Back to Fant now. She dish out the low, double team. Gets it back to Fant. And Cunningham will drive as she looked for the three at first, didn't want to take it. And they'll swing it back up top to set up something offensively. Pitch and catch back and forth as the Lady Bears look to create a turnover right here. Fant looking down low for De La Cruz, reverse layup, no good, rebound. Comes down to Brooklyn Mercord. Mercord with it. Looking down low, wide open was Glenn. She puts it off the glass for two and she's fouled. Glenn now with 10 points. And she will try to cut it to 10 right here with 6.02 remaining. With a fifth team foul against Lubbock Christian. As Lene Hollingsworth will check in. And coming out will be Arena Marks. Foul goes against Tatum Lowe, her first personal. And the free throw hits. And checking in the game will be Megan Bircham. As Glenn will get a breather. She now has 11. Lowe will inbound it. As the officials blow the whistle, as the ball has not been put back into play yet, as both teams looking to hustle for positioning. The low to inbound it, gets it into De La Cruz. 10 point lead. Lowe gets the pass across half court. Now being double teamed. De La Cruz with it. Gives it over to Fan left wing. She's now being double teamed. She looks for a lane to the basket and puts it off the glass. For two, that's Fant's first points of the ball game. Back to a 12 point lead. Here comes Harden on the baseline. And she puts up a shot, no good. Loose ball on the court. Will be saved by the Lady Eagles. And that was Cassidy Cunningham. With it now is Lowe. Gives it to Fant. 
5.20 now remaining in this game. Bain with it in the corner. Goes out to Cunningham, down low. That is Robertson, shot is up and it falls. That's four points now for Brooke Robertson. Back now to a 14 point lead. So each time the Lady Bears cut it to about 10, the Lady Eagles get on a little run to increase the lead and a travel call against Keeley Harden. Ball goes back to Lubbock Christian. Low to inbound it, come to De La Cruz. She has on the far side wing to Low. Now to Fan. Under five minutes to play. Fan gives it off to Robertson. Back to Fan. She drives. She's fouled. And she'll be shooting two. Foul will go against Megan Bertram, the sophomore. That'll be her first personal foul. 17 foul. The Lady Eagles in the bonus the rest of this game. First shot is up, and it's no good. Subs coming in. Glenn, Bandy Griff, and Ariana Marks. Second shot on the way. Hits the back iron, so out at two. And we have a tie-up, and it's going to go back to the Eagles. And Brooke Robertson can be credited with the hustle play right there, getting the tie up. Eagle! And we'll stay with Lovett Christian. Eagle! Down low with it is Robertson. And she throws it away. It's going to be stolen by Keeley Harden. She drives, puts it up, up the glass, and she gets it to fall. She now has five in timeout call by Coach Devin Loftus with 4.33 remaining. It's now 12. Point lead for Lovett Christian at 46 to 34. So game going back and forth. It's been a double digit lead since halftime when Lovett Christian led 29 to 16 and led up to the third 42 26. And Austin Brookwood Christian has inched back closer and closer each time. As we get ready to come out of timeout, Austin Brentwood defeating Round Rock Christian yesterday, 47-27 in advance of the state championship game. And Lovett Christian defeating Amarillo San Jacinto, 51-47. As Lowe will inbound it, coming out of timeout. Fant with it. Gets it back to Lowe. Back to Fant. And we have a reach-in foul call against Priscilla Green, her first personal foul. And Fant will be going the free throw line for a one-and-one -one opportunity. Subs checking back in the game now for Brentwood Christian. Nicole Glenn and Ariana Marks. So Fant at the free throw line, she has two points. Front end of the one and one is up, off the back iron, no good, and a rebound. Comes down to Marks. Marks with it. She has on the right wing. Has, gives it to Harden. Harden dribbles, finds Glenn. And she puts up a shot, she's fouled, and she will be shooting two at the free throw line. We'll go against Tatum Lowe, that's her second foul. Sixth team foul against Lubbock Christian. Glenn knocks down the first one. She now has 12. As Priscilla Glenn will check back in. Second shot on the way, a big one from Glenn. And she gets it to fall. She now has 13. And it's back to a 10-point lead. Still 4-10 to go in this game. As Tatum Lowe inbounds it to Fant. Fant now being double teamed in the backcourt. And we have a tie up and the possession arrow goes to the Lady Bears. So a chance to cut it to single digits on this possession as we'll have mass subs coming into the ball game for each team. 
with 4.04 remaining now. Big possession right here for the Lady Bears. With it is Vandy Griff. Up top now is Glenn. She'll look to drive, finds a crease, misses the shot, offensive rebound, and picked up on the floor by Lauren Hoffman. Here comes Fant with the dribble. She gives it to De La Cruz. Back to Fant now. Fant gets the screen from Robertson and gets the pass now. Robertson back out to Fant. As the clock now is about to reach 331 and will reach in foul against Keely Harden. That's gonna be her third foul. And we'll have two shots now coming to the free throw line for Fant who hasn't been able to knock down her foul shots so far here in the second half. And she's had a few opportunities. Looks to make up for it right here. So she's, that was a 19th foul, so still a one and one. She knocks down that free throw shot though. She has three points. It's now back to an 11 point lead, 47-36. Second shot on the way. Gets that one to fall, she has four. Back to a 12 point advantage for Lubbock Christian with 3.30 now to go. Marks will shoot a quick three and that one will not fall. And a rebound comes down to De La Cruz. De La Cruz will pull up and she will be fouled and she will be shooting two. Foul will go against Nicole Glenn and that will be her fifth foul. of this game. So the leading scorer with 13 points for the Lady Bears will exit as the sophomore will have to come out. As we have 317 remaining, a 12 point lead for Lubbock Christian. And Ashley De La Gar or excuse me, De La Cruz will be at the free throw line shooting a pair. Ayla Cruz with 31 points on the ball game. Hits the first one, now has 32. And she looks to sink both. Make it back a 14 point lead and she does. And once again, the Lady Bears cut it to 10 and a 4-0 run quickly by the Lady Eagles. To make it back a 14 point lead. Harden with it. Looking down low for Marks. It's going to be knocked away and stolen by the Lady Eagles. As we are now under three minutes to play in this fourth and final period in the girls 3-8 TAP State Championship game. De La Cruz is fouled as she looked to drive to the hole. That foul will go against Morgan Vandegrift. And that's going to be Vandegrift's fifth foul. So the senior guard will exit with seven points. And her final game has a Lady Bear. As the clock is stopped with two minutes and 55 seconds remaining. And it'll be Lene Hollingsworth checking in for her. So De La Cruz now back at the free throw line with 33 points. Looking to increase her team's lead. And she does now with 34. As the clock starting to become a big factor in this one as she hits both. Now with 35 points. 52 to 36 now the score. Quick shot Hollingsworth, she misses. And that one will go out of bounds. And it'll go back to Lubbock Christian with 247 on the clock. So chance for Lubbock Christian to celebrate two state championship wins here in 3A as their boys get ready to play after this one as that one's gonna be out of bounds. Last touch by Brentwood Christian. The clock stops now at 2.39. As Hoffman will inbound it. She gets it into De La Cruz. De La Cruz now being guarded by Harden. Pass to Fant. They look to ice some of this clock. 
Now being double teamed. Brentwood Christian looks to cause some turnovers here. And a whistle and a travel call just like that. The clock stops now at 2.19 remaining. Lady Bears got to score fast now their next couple possessions and hold the Eagles to try to get back in this one. With it is Marks. She drives, puts up the shot, she's fouled. She'll be shooting two. Be the seventh team foul against Lubbock Christian. And Ariana Marks with six points. She drains the first. The foul goes against Kristen Fant, her second personal foul. Marks looking to cut it to 52 38 right here. And she does. She now has eight. Checking in is Bertram for the Lady Bears. Hoffman inbounded. And she gets in the Fant. And she's going to be bumped right away by Burcham. She helps her off the court. And it'll be two free throw shots coming up for Kristen Fant, who has four points. Clock stop, 2.06 remaining in this game. shot on the way from Fant. And that goes in and out, no good. So score remains 52-38. As Marks and Harden will, or excuse me, Orak will check in along with Marks. Fant looking to make one out of two. And that one does get a friendly roll at the back iron. As she has five, it's now 53-38. As we have hit now two minutes remaining in this game. Harden shot no good. Rebound comes down to Hoffman. And now the Lady Eagles could take more clock off. As they look to secure a win here. And that one's going to be taken away by the Lady Bears. Harden with it. Is it to Orak? Harden with it now, it looks to drive, looking down low to Priscilla Glenn. And goes out of bounds with 1.30. As Brooklyn Watts will check in the senior as she will get some playing time here as her team is a minute 30 away from winning the 3A Girls Tap State Championship here in 2013. Three point shot off the mark, De La Cruz comes down with the rebound. The Cruz tight rope in the half court line as she got it away. And a whistle and a travel call against Fant. As we'll have another sub coming in. And it'll be Tatum Lowe checking back in. 116 remaining before Alicia Robertson's team. And say they are the 2013 state champs here in 3A and Taps. And a whistle and a travel call against Keeley Harden. But Brentwood Christian out of Austin, 32 and five coming into this game. Nothing to hold their heads down about as they have had a great season getting to this game. De La Cruz for three, she hits, why not? As she has had a big game here. She has 38 points. As that shot is up, no good. And guess who, De La Cruz with the rebound. All the way up court, too low. And now she'll give it out to Hoffman as De La Cruz fakes that three. And now the Eagles can start icing this clock with 36.9 seconds remaining and running it out. As the fans behind us from Lubbock start to celebrate it. As Hoffman gets the pass. That shot up by Stevenson off the back iron, no good. Offensive rebound by Hoffman. She'll go up with it. That's no good. And looking to save it, but it'll stay with Lovett Christian as we will have a sub coming in. Christiana Anabejo will check in. A sophomore for Austin Brentwood Christian. 
And stick around, we'll have the post-game ceremonies on our stream. As soon as this one's over, down to Watts, her shot's blocked by Onabejo. As we're down now to 15, with it is Merc Mercord. And that pass is stolen by De La Cruz, she has it. Now we'll have another tie-up as we end this one. And clock will stop at 6.4. It will stay with Lubbock Christian. So Hoffman will inbound it. Gets it to De La Cruz. Down to five, down to four. And the Lubbock Christian Lady Eagles are your 2013 Girls 3A Taps State Champions as they defeat the Austin Brentwood Christian Lady Bears 56 to 38. As Lubbock Christian has a chance to win both state championships in Taps 3A as the boys get ready to take on the Woodlands Christian. Congratulations once again to Austin Brentwood Christian on a fine season. Coach Devin Loftus as their team ends their season with a 32 and six record. But once again, congratulations to Alicia Robertson and the Lubbock Christian Lady Eagles. They win the TAPS 3A Girls State Championship game as we encourage you to stay around for the post-game ceremonies here from Mansfield Summit High School. Thank you. 
Thank you. 